Well, this is not a spring chicken. I'm so happy we can actually come out here to the beach today because, well, let's just say it's clear and gorgeous here at the beach and cold, but elsewhere it looks like it's about ready to rain because it's been raining here in L.A. Meanwhile, um, we're here with Old Cam for OFN and News Video Web with comments on the headlines of today. And why economic advisors don't understand that rising unemployment is bad, not good. Well, they defended it again this morning. I mean, they defended it yesterday. They defended it again this morning. So it's just a bump in the road. We didn't realize when we took over that things were as bad as George Bush had made them to be. Okay. And uh, even on CNN yesterday, wanted to know what world you were living in. You, gave, you inherited 6.9% unemployment. You've never got it lower than 9%. And you have spent trillions of dollars of money, and nobody's buying any merchandise. Yeah, you something see. doesn't seem But right. we saved them. I said that we saved the automobile industry, and then they brought up the fact that, let's see, you you fired six hundred thousand workers, closed twelve hundred distributorships, put millions of people out of work, uh, and the money they're repaying the loans with, they're borrowing from the United States government and lower rate of interest. That's, that's going to save anything. They get the fiscal right now. Does not like Obama. The news editors love Obama, but the field press do not like him because they got to go out and talk to people. And Christy tells Iowa donors he's still not running. Well, because it's not okay. Uh, they said as of the moment he couldn't get re-election in his own state because the Democrats are trying to do it. I mean, uh, the union forces are intending to destroy anybody that is uh, stands against the unions in this country. And Christie's at the top of the list, so. House panel votes to cut farm subsidies. Yeah, the, the, because um, basically what's happening is the majority of the subsidies are going to subsidize the, the selling of corn for ethanol and not for food. And uh, so what they're doing is they're causing the cost of grains to go up as the subsidies are being put in into the fuel industry. And since nobody buys ethanol, and sturgeon's death highlights the threat to ancient fish. Okay, they, uh, they're not going to kill, they're not going to run the surgeons out. There's one good reason why the surgeons are not going to be allowed to die out. It's called caviar. Oh. If you let the surgeons die out, you no longer have caviar. But they, what it is, is they, they farm the fish now. And, and they'll farm, you know, they, 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 don't, they only let them grow to a certain size because the farms aren't capable of holding them that size. But what they're looking for, they want a surgeon that's like 10 foot long and is a game fish. <coughs> that isn't going to happen anymore. 20 reported dead after drilling from his everybody but Obama. decided that he was not going to support Israel anymore. Frog dissections go virtual at California School. I know. You can't dissect a virtual anything. It's not the same, folks. You have to be there in person. I mean, I don't think I'd want a doctor doing surgery on me that had never touched a patient before. Well, the other thing is, it's like, if you're there, you get that, ew, yeah, it's not quite the same. Well, it gets rid of the people that shouldn't be doing it. I mean, you don't uh -huh. want a person... Basically, you're going to have, okay, you, you're not going to have a virtual operation on you if you go in for surgery. That's going to be somebody with equipment that's never touched a uh, body before, so, I mean, not bright. Unofficial count gives Peruvian presidency the leftist Humala. Well, yeah, they basically decided to go with a person that basically is an, as a fan of Hugo Chavez, and a fan of Fidel Castro, and a fan of Che Guevara, and a fan of Adolf Hitler. Other than that, he's, you know, he's the perfect candidate to be president of a country. X-Men, the lowest of all X-Men? Yep. They, uh, they thought they were going to reboot it with a whole bunch of younger people, meaning it's going to cost less money to make the movie than the others. They said, but there was no star power, totally no star power whatsoever in this movie. And the movie was just, uh, you know, the guy said, if you, you would have done it better for less money. Let's study East Coast uh, hybrids with How you get dog? How you get domesticated dogs? Is they're hybrids of wild animals. So. 
and fallen IMF chief to plead not guilty to sex crime charges. He said he didn't do anything. He said they absolutely said that they they blamed Brock. <coughs> He said specifically, Barack Hussein Obama was the reason why that he was sitting in a jail cell because he, he didn't agree with his spend, spend, spend policies and he wanted a man in the IMF that wanted you to spend money. And Stephen Jobs to deliver the Apple keynote. Well, Jobs, I saw it this morning. He looks like a skip walk at skeleton, folks. This guy, really? this June, he hasn't, he's not only not put on any weight, he's losing weight, which means he is dying. But when they figure there is no successor for him at Apple. So when he dies, that company's collapsing. And sir, war crimes, prosecutors seek to interview Matt Vladek. Well, they're trying to find out if he's as sick as he supposedly is. Well, he's got a, he has a thing from the United States government. He went to a, he went to an American military hospital folks, that says he has terminal cancer. That's kind of sick. Yeah, that's kind of sick, yeah. Yeah. Sony continues to restore the place <coughs> Uh, yeah, and then uh, at the same time, they're trying to explain how they got hacked again, and this time the hackers told everybody they took the, they, they, this time they harvested the material from these people because Sony refuses to listen to anybody, as, as we have tried for years to explain to people that the system is only as good as the firewall you have in place, and in order to do a lot of the things you do, you have to take your firewall down. Which means when the firewall is down, you're open to anybody to get into your system. Well, oh, and that's not just Sony either. That's all, all of them. They Nintendo last week too. Nintendo basically went to the FBI. They were a little fast about the FBI. Right? It took it took a month or so for Sony. The Sony wanted to handle it interiorly. It didn't work. And Palin, I didn't mess up about Paul Revere. Oh. I mean, first of all, you know, like she's not, basically they said that most of the press agreed that she, yesterday was one of her better days during a um, question and answer thing of press because she basically read, she, you know, the midnight ride of Paul Revere. It's a poem. You know, but why did they think it, she messed it, up? It's by, I think it's by Wordsworth Longfellow. Yeah. It's the, the Midnight Ride of Paul Revere. You, she read from the poem. So if you read from a bloody poem, it's not real. She said, I couldn't mess up because I read the poem. She read a thing at a deal, at an event. She read the poem verbatim. Don't the they midnight. Have anything better to pick on her? No, because oh they're God. trying to destroy her chances for presidency. But the trick is, she's not running. That's what they can't. Um, uh, they tried to talk to, I guess, Diane Sawyer this weekend. She's not running. You know, well, we all know she wants to be president. She's not running. But well, we've got to make certain that uh, the truth is brought out about her. She's not running. They don't listen. She's not running. You know, part of it is, is when she was the vice presidential candidate, if all those people descending upon Alaska couldn't find anything. I know. I mean, or if that's all they could find. What else are they going to find? My I gosh. Know it. DC Comics 2 relaunch most titles at number one. I know, basically it destroys the value of everything. If they decided that, the, you know, instead of printing like uh, 501, 502, they're, they're reverting. But see, the trick is, you know what makes them all different? They're all anti-American now. Oh, really? <coughs> they're, they're one world order is now Superman and all these other characters thing now. A one world order led by the United Nations. Pennsylvania woman sues Dunkin' Donuts over sugar and coffee. I know. Well, I haven't had anything but artificial sweeteners in a decade, and they use real sugar in the coffee, and therefore I'm, I'm going to get sick. Well, she never bothered to ask what they use to sweeten their coffee. She assumed, well, I hate to tell people this, but you know what they have over at the sweetener for the sweet tea over at McDonald's is honey. Well, see, part of it is if you're asking them for sweetener, shouldn't you know what... It, no, she what didn't. It is? I know, but she didn't. She just assumed that everybody uses artificial sweeteners. No, they send you a pack, give you a pack, and it says sugar on it. It generally means sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. June starts ominously for teetering Wall Street. Yeah, and as the day has fell again, this is the sixth straight Monday the Wall Street has fell because it fell today on bad manufacturing and sales information because it's just, a, here's the word, nobody is buying anything. They don't have any money. Like Obama's, he's getting his, you know, his election wish, we got to get the price of oil down or they won't reelect me. Well, nobody's driving anywhere. They've cut back on going to vacation sites. They've cut back on going to anywhere they have to drive their car except to work. 
and it's wiping the economy out. And I guess, because you're not buying, they said that big Memorial Day thing they figured they were going to have. No, it didn't happen because people didn't go anywhere. So. Oh, that's true. And at least, oh, and a Monty bubble is in from the March 20 the Animal Kingdom. Hey, part of being a family is that often you have to forgive. You're also sick when other family members are sick at the same time. 